21 might have a comeback before Blackpink. What in the YG? But let's talk about Lisa's comeback with Rockstar. Kiss of Life accused of copying Tyla, but how did the Seraphim get brought into this? Hype's virtual new girl group plagiarism accusations and so much more on today's episode of Totally Legit K-pop News with me, Angelina. So if you're interested, please keep on watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video with the friends you don't have. Subscribe to my second channel. Follow me on all of my little social media accounts and all of that jazz. And without further ado, let's get into today's news. Oh. Blackpink's Lisa has made her much anticipated solo debut under her new company, this technically being her solo comeback, but fans are extra excited because she's taken things into her own hands. This is her first solo since she left YG Entertainment as a solo artist, of course, still maintaining group activities as Blackpink, though who knows when that will ever happen in our lifetimes. But it seems she's pulled out all the stops for this one, as it was revealed that her team paid the shop owners on this very busy street in Thailand $500 each to close their shops early so that they could film. This was revealed when we got the teaser for Rockstar so we see just like empty streets right? From Lisa bringing Thailand with her on set for her solo debut La Lisa to now renting the entire Chinatown in Bangkok and filming there for her comeback in Rockstar. So this picture shows the difference. This is Chinatown in Bangkok. It's usually super super busy and then Lisa alone on these empty streets. Cleared the area for the people's princess. Not many can do that, they only have rooftops. It's Chinatown BKK indeed. This is a super busy, very crowded part of the street 24 seven, but she and her team managed to clear the place and paid everything for this scene. Love my rich mother. As a Bangkokian, closing Yawarat for filming is insane. The street is so busy day and night. Lisa rented the entire Chinatown in Bangkok to film for her music video. So not only do we have people praising Lisa for doing this but also the fact that like none of this got out i'm not exactly sure where this was confirmed or said but you would think like someone would spill the beans right thai people are so loyal because how can lisa shut down the entire road and no one said shit or spoiled anything however it seems that some people were not happy with the amount that she paid so twenty thousand baht is around like i said 500 usd right so there were some people complaining that the amount was quite low americans comparing the currency with their own y'all do realize that economy Economy salary are different in other countries, right? That can be whole salary for some people. She gave back to her home country. I'm in love with this girl. She really dropped some money. <laughs> the payout is pretty good, quite big for a third world country. Americans have to understand in the context of Thailand, it's a substantial amount that can significantly benefit, not to mention community goodwill too. Another good thing is it could boost sales for local businesses. So I have some people complaining that the amount wasn't high enough, other people's explaining that the amount is quite significant. But from what I've seen, I think it's safe to say that the majority of people people thought that this was super cool. Supporting the local economy, not using CGI or AI to create a really cool scene. Because how easy could it have been to just Photoshop, not Photoshop, you get what I mean, to just edit it, right? To just create a fake road, a fake empty road, which, oh my God, what if that's actually what happened? <laughs> what if like at the, you guys remember Le Seraphim when they had those crochet outfits and like everyone was running with the idea that Sakura crocheted all of those outfits by hand for each member. And then it came out that like, no, she only crocheted like a couple items what if this is the same i'm not saying it is but like just i'm covering all my bases here allegedly after the video came out a photo from a thai facebook page also revealed more details about the casting and payment that people could receive for starring in the music video so here we have this so this is what they were looking for a group of motorbikers group of kids skateboarders lgbtq drag queens other actors now in the music video itself she did feature three famous thai transgender women so again just people really happy about like the details of this music video <laughs> But with all that said, let's actually talk about this music video, the song, everything in between. Like the good old days, I know some of you miss my reviews. So let's check out Rockstar from Lisa, our innovative multilingual queen. Which on that note, I've actually been studying Korean for ages now since I first saw a video of Big Bang speaking Korean and I was curious what they were saying. But the truth is I've been neglecting my Korean for years now, making my knowledge inconsistent and all over the place. Luckily, I found a program that's helping me improve my Korean. So a huge thank you to Rosetta Stone for partnering with me on this video. Rosetta Stone offers immersive lessons that put you in real life situations and uses audio from native speakers. The lessons are also super convenient because you can do them on your laptop, on your phone, so they're perfect if you're on the go. Let me show you. My favorite part is the voice recognition tool because it's so interactive and really helps you get the accent just right. 다음 주에 갈 거예요. 
다음 주에 갈 거예요. This is great as a learner who mostly did everything on paper. I find myself hearing some words that I thought were pronounced a certain way for longer than I'd like to admit, only to find out that that's not the case. 남자 아이는 작년에 네 살이었어요. 작년, not 작년. <laughs> Their stories are also super fun, where you can read out loud and practice your pronunciation there too with audio from native speakers. So if you want to better understand the lyrics of one of your favorite songs, or if you're tired of relying on subtitles, Rosetta Stone is offering an exclusive discount of over 60% off a lifetime subscription on all 25 of their languages, or 50% off a language of your choice. With either of these options, you will never have to worry about renewal fees again. So come learn with me by checking out the link in my description. So it always feels like Christmas whenever anyone from Blackpink or Blackpink themselves release something. Like not even because of how rare it is, because it's honestly rarer than Christmas. Like at Christmas, you can anticipate every year, right? But a Blackpink comeback, a solo, maybe that'll change now that their, you know, solo endeavors are personal i forgot the word you get what i mean you get what i mean right it just it, it doesn't happen once a year maybe once every two years every three years who knows it's really just that anticipation maybe for you i actually dreamt this into existence <laughs> Probably one of the only good things I've manifested so far. There are still some people personally mad at me for the Min Hee Jin versus High Beef because I unfortunately did dream about that before that happened. Maybe I could have stopped it. I don't know, but I digress. So let's just revisit my dream really quickly to see what I got right and what I got wrong about Lisa's solo. I had a K-pop dream and I wish I remembered it more because it was so juicy. I just remember it being so juicy. So, so, so juicy, but I, I woke up and I forgot about this. I recorded it. Not me recording it. Sometimes I wake up and I have like a melody in my head and I start recording it. Oh, so I was like, I look so good, good. I look so good, good. Okay, apparently I got everything wrong about this. But the fact is I dreamt about it before it happened, meaning that I predicted that she would be the first one to release a solo and she did okay this is a lot okay cut this part out what is this part in my head like i remembered thinking like i'm so good looking like i thought the song the melody that i had was i'm so good looking and i'm like oh my god i'm so good looking i'm a rock star like at least i predicted the i'm part but now it's i look so good i'm not ruling it out maybe there's a b-side coming out guys just don't rule me out this early on okay you know what if <laughs> what if originally that was <laughs> what if originally that was the song but then they heard my dream and they had to change it right you know they couldn't risk giving me any royalties damn the fact is i dreamt of her solo and it came out that's something moving on okay <laughs> i actually do quite like this song my favorite part is the lisa can you teach me japanese and say hi hi I love that part so much. I've seen some people say like it doesn't make any sense whatsoever and other people take such deep meaning out of it. So I'd love to know what you think of that. Overall, like it's just it's just what I would expect from Lisa visually, sound wise. It's absolutely it's just Lisa, right? This is what I would have expected her first solo to be like nothing against la lisa right but it was a little bit more like cute so the song actually reminds me of bad girls by m.i.a do you hear the similarity but it seems that people have been saying that there is a sample by tame impala new person same old mistakes so this is near the silver part <laughs> which it seems Rihanna also sampled in her song Same Old Mistakes. Or is it a cover? But anyways, I'd love to know what you think of this song, what you thought of the music video, what you think of Lisa finally free from YG as a solo artist. But while we're here, let's see what some K netizens think of it. It wasn't my style, but I think that Lisa is better off just staying solo. She's effing badass even when she's by herself. Now that she's out of YG, she's being promoted properly. This looks so unfamiliar for BP. I hope that all of BP members get managed by American labels. Is this a real screenshot? So many different versions of Rockstar. Is that real? 
Should we go check really quickly? I've been so obsessed with Chapel Road recently. Don't mind me. <gasps> it is true. Oh my God. I can't see all of them right here, but that is true. Wow, Lisa is the first name mentioned both in composition and lyrics writing. This would have never been possible under YG. Lisa participated in the rap writing in As If It's Your Last and was never mentioned. This is just a pre-release single and she's going to be releasing a collab in her solo album later. So fans are just streaming Rockstar while waiting. Is that so? That This is actually a pre-release? I don't remember seeing that anywhere. But anything is possible. So we have Lisa in the credits. It will be hard for the general public to eat this up. Legend. So of course, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And Mix's Hewon injured her back, so she will be performing seated at Music Core Japan. Let's see what JYP had to say about this. And Mix member Hewon sustained a minor back injury during practice this week, so she visited the hospital and underwent a thorough examination. So basically, the results showed that her everyday life wouldn't be affected, but the doctor did advise that she would need to refrain from excessive movement. In accordance with the doctor's recommendation, she will temporarily avoid excessive movement and focus on her treatment. So consequently, for the group's performance for Music Core in Japan, she'll be performing seated. I'm sure you guys have all seen that before. An idol unfortunately injured just like at the corner of the stage, still singing their hearts out, but just not participating in the choreography. We will consider our artist's health our top priority and do our utmost so that she can make a speedy recovery. We ask for fans understanding. Thank you. We've definitely seen a lot of interesting ways that companies make up for the fact that a member is missing, either bringing in a fake member to dance in that person's position having the member sing off to the side on a chair jonga of 80s has done that quite a bit and even who was it from kepler who like broke her foot or something so it's really interesting but my question to you is what other ideas do you have what would you bring to the table concept wise if your idol was sick they couldn't perform or maybe they could perform just not with the choreography what kind of ideas could you bring to the table because i know more recently hand from new jeans of course is injured and they brought a fake hand in like dressed up as a bunny and everything but do you have any other ideas i'd be curious to read them in the comments and of course wishing him on a speedy recovery kiss of life are said to have a summer themed comeback with sticky anytime there's a song with a similar title to this my immediate response is to go <laughs> now for the most part i have to say people are super excited for this fun summer comeback but there have been a few people saying that they're copying tyla's choreography there we go and there we go so this would be the sticky challenge. Some people are saying it's twerking. Some are crediting this as a Bacardi move. And then here is Tyla's dance move in water. What the hell does this dance have to do with the song? And they copied that twerk part from Tyla. Do them like y'all did the Seraphim. So I've read a bunch of comments and some of the sentiment is basically that the Seraphim were also accused of copying Tyla, but the dance moves were not the same. Meanwhile, Kiss of Life's dance moves are basically the same as some of Tyla's dance moves, but Kiss of Life aren't getting as much buzz as the Seraphim did. I'm not saying that makes sense. I'm saying that's some of the sentiment that I've read. Listen, it's Twitter. It's a little bit messy. So in response to this, a lot of people are actually bringing up the fact that Tyla has commented on Kiss of Life's posts in the past. K-pop sends coming for Kiss of Life saying they copied Tyla. Meanwhile, Tyla commented on Kiss of Life's TikTok. So we can see her comment on this TikTok and then on this one. Yes, mama. With some people saying that this doesn't prove anything, she can simultaneously support their TikToks where they're dancing to her songs and they still could have copied a move from her water choreography. I'd love to know what you think about this. Do you think that they did copy the move? because it's the same move. Do you think that's a thing? Do you think you could really copy a dance move? Or is it literally a dance move and therefore it's fine? It kind of brings up this whole discussion that we've been having about choreography copyright. What can you copyright in terms of choreography? Can you copyright a specific dance move? Or can you only claim a specific sequence of moves within a choreography? I'd love to know what you think about it. For the most part, there's been a lot of positivity surrounding this teaser, with a lot of people saying that they're the sister of fifth gen. So here's some comments under the teaser user sister of fifth gen in other words summer queens of fifth gen omg again they're carrying fifth gen i really get it why hyodin said kiss of life is her favorite group mother always support her daughter someone said close enough welcome back sister <laughs> yes finally a concept that julie has been waiting for summer concept for kiss of life reference after school club i love that I, lo I love that you put your source in there. So again, I'd love to know what you think, if you can copy a specific dance move or it's a dance move, anyone can use it.
Let's talk about Hive or Hive subsidiary label. So Hive is debuting a new girl group, but this time they're a virtual girl group. And there's been some backlash already. For one, the group's name is Syndiate, which seems fine, right? Like when I first read it out, I'm like, okay, like whatever, nothing to really be alarmed about. But then it seems that fans have been pointing out the similarity between Cindy 8 and The 8 from 17. Now again, just like reading it out like this, the only thing similar seems to be The 8. I <laughs> get it? Oh my God. But when you actually write this out in Korean, it's actually all the same, except when you add the shin in front of it. So it seems like carrots aren't too happy about that. And even Hybe Stop Stealing the 8 is trending on Twitter. At first when I saw it, I was like, oh, is it just because of the, like, the, eight? not the 8, but uh, the presence of the number eight. But then as you see it spelled out in Korean, it's a lot more similar. Hype Stop Stealing the Eight is trending here. Like this is the group's name written in Korean, right? And then this is the eight written in Korean. So you just add the shin in front. That's what people are upset about is what I'm trying to say. Let's read some responses. Anyways, for those who didn't know, Hype's new virtual girl group's name is Shin Di Eight, which literally just added shin to the eight's Korean name, D8. Apparently they can't think of new names now because WTF is this. Change that name at Hybe official Twitter. He worked so hard to establish his name and reputation for himself, not for you at Hybe official Twitter to steal slash ruin it. The 8 has been the 8 since 17 began. This has been his identity and branding. And it isn't fair to him that a new virtual girl group is about to debut with a similar name, if not the exact same as his. Oh, the Korean name of Hybe's new virtual girl group is Shin Di8, where Minghao's stage name for 10 years is D8. And Shin Di8 literally means new the 8. I will not let Hybe official Twitter steal 10 years worth of memories. Not to, oh my God, I'm so, so sorry for this, but you guys remember the whole downworld accusations and the whole like Shin thing? Why is nobody mentioning that? Shin meaning God, Shin Di We went through this with OMG by New Jeans, how there were so many like God references, downworld. I'm sorry, allegedly, I'm not accusing anything, I swear to God. But I'd love to know what you think about that specifically, if you think the names are too similar or if you think it's really not that big of a deal. But that's not the only issue we have here. It seems an illustrator has come forward to express that they're uncomfortable with the artwork used because this illustrator does say like this type of art is popular. However, they revealed that Hybe reached out to them to design this girl group. I received an offer from a subsidiary label of Hybe to design a virtual girl group. I was angry because after I explained the cost and the details of the offer, the designer didn't respond and cut off all contact. The announcement of the new virtual group came out today. Many people thought that I designed the group and after receiving the images, it felt strange. If you look at the third photo, the style they first showed me through sketches is not seen at all and the drawing style has changed. Do the fans think that I took the offer? They did send me an offer, but I didn't take it. It must be coincidence that the outcome is totally different from their initial sketches and looks similar to my style, right? They must have really looked up a lot of references or worked hard tracing and using a spoid. Then they show a screenshot of you know, the Hybe subsidiary use label message to them. We looked at your work and would like to send you an offer as we feel it would be nice to work with you on our upcoming virtual idol project. The content we would like to ask you about is finalizing the design of the initial character design sketches we have made and making the title track visualizer. We are looking at the deadline to be around middle of March. And then these are the initial sketches from Hybe. And then this is what the illustrator posted showing comparisons to their own work. Initial sketch received by Supertone. They sent offer to collaborate with me, but cut contact after reaching out to them. The final outcome outcome of the girl group looks nothing like their initial sketches and then their own artwork style. They do clarify more about the post. What an amazing coincidence. I know I cannot claim my style as my own. Similar designs are found in comics and city pop illustrations and drawings are created through references. But the fishy thing according to them is that Hybe reached out to them or Hybe's subsidiary label reached out to them to inquire about a collaboration. It was a collaboration that was rejected by them. They completely changed the existing style. Seeing the final outcome it feels uncomfortable to see this in a positive way. Of course, they probably looked at other references besides me. Fans have been asking if I worked on it and I'm making it clear that this is absolutely not the case. I am writing this because it feels unfair. 
I'm not asking you to do something about it. I mean, what power does an individual artist like me have anyways? But this, of course, doesn't stop negative opinions on Hybe. Let's read some responses. These are just some perspectives, not all perspectives. Please keep that in mind. Again, question mark. Wow, they're taking it too far. Looking at this person's work, I can tell what Hybe wanted. Wow, I really hate this. Wow, another reference? And it's worse than the original artist's work. When I first saw the announcement of Hybe's virtual girl group, I felt the drawing style was unfamiliar. I can see why now. This is literally what they did to Min Jin, asking to work with them and just stealing their work. Hybe is just being Hybe once again. So it does seem that the artist has since deleted their post. Now, it's, it's important to show because it's not like they're saying necessarily Hybe plagiarized my work. More like Hybe reached out to me because they liked my work, didn't respond to me when I inquired further about it. And then suddenly they come out with this virtual girl group whose artwork is quite similar to my work, though I acknowledge that a lot of people share similar artwork to me, but the fact that they reached out to me was kind of, you know. So here's the final update as of now. The intention of my message has been misunderstood. Supertone cut contact with me after sending me an offer to collaborate with them. I wrote the post because I was so upset that many people asked if I worked on the project with them. They go on to say that if Supertone released this virtual group without having contacted them, they wouldn't feel any type of way because, quote, I know many artists have this style. After receiving so many malicious comments and DMs, I took down my post because I didn't understand why I had to hear these things and posting about something that happened to me on my social media account. I've been drawing quietly all this time, but seeing people fighting in the comments shocked me. They go on to thank everyone for the nice messages to the super tone designer who sent me an offer through dm i saw that you posted an insta story about the virtual group i hope your virtual ai business does well i will focus solely on my artwork from now on and again we have more comments about this hype needs to be taken down for the industries to survive the girls planet gallery thinks of Peng Shiak as some sort of god these crazy people they went and said stupid sh to the artists why are they like this wow Peng Shiak has become a god hasn't he the believers are so scared they can't say anything who knew that fans worse than JYP could ex- What? <laughs> What's with people trying to protect High with any controversy? I hope they report all malicious comments and DMs. But that is not the only criticism that we're seeing towards this virtual group. There's been a ton of conversation surrounding the concept of the group, how it's weird, how it targets, not target, but how it seems to have been made for misogynistic men. The character designs are under scrutiny for emphasis of certain body parts. And then one of the members is actually quite similar to Karina, which a lot of people also think is weird. <gasps> Canary. So can I see it immediately. Canary, if you just switch the last two characters, it literally spells Karina. Karina. It also seems that the characters MBTI and Hai are both identical to Karina as well. The character has almost an identical name to a group member, Peng Shia who tried to step on. For context, of course, during the whole Min Hee Jin versus Hai beef, she revealed a text message where Peng Shia asked if she could step on Espa with new jeans. In fact, they have the same MBTI and height. At this point, it makes me wonder whether Peng Shia is in love with Karina. And then there's an instance where people think that they're shading new jeans. This one was a little bit weird to follow. So Cindy 8 are going to appear on this fake youtuber's channel here's the thumbnail he's got a beard and the background and everything just keep that in mind people were bringing up the fact that new jeans appeared on this youtuber's channel who also has a beard just like the name similarities and just the parallels netizens felt that the similarities between the show hosts were too similar to be a coincidence and criticized both hub and those involved in the virtual project here are some comments again why is that everything they do is so Wow, this is really bad. Seriously, you all just need to get out. Seems like they aren't even virtual and only have voices with illustrations. I think they went crazy from wanting to step on new jeans and Espa, lol. LOL, who's going to watch this? Are you crazy? This is so shocking, seriously, lol. Sai, are they seriously dissing new jeans and Tim Talk men? So again, I would have loved to know what you think about this virtual group. Do you think that this group would have received backlash no matter what, just the concept at its core? Or do you think because it's Hive, that's the reason they're getting so much backlash? Let me know your theories in the comments. 21 have been rumored to be having a comeback for a while now ever since they uploaded those anniversary pictures but now it's like actually being reported that all four members are meeting up with yg like himself 21 is reportedly in talks for a potential comeback so originally yg responded to this saying it is true that the executive producer and the members are scheduled to meet 
Other than that, we have no further details to confirm at this time. And then we remember when CL was meeting up with YG and they were like, it's not like an official company meeting, so we have nothing to say. But here is what people think of the prospect of a 21 comeback. Should I look forward to it? Can Yang Hyun Suk even meet them? Oh, please. As long as Teddy makes the song, discuss well with Yang Shi and please make sure it's a song from Teddy. Please meet with Teddy. I don't like this, but this is needed for me to see 21 again, so let's support this. Ah, please give them a good song. I can't even support them because of Yan Hyun Sok. Do they have to meet with Yan Hyun Sok? The Teddy comments are sending me. This is one of the spaces where you can lovingly love Teddy and it's okay. But then YG actually confirmed the following. So, YG Entertainment officially announced that the previous day, the 421 members had shared an extremely meaningful conversation with Yang Hyun Sok for approximately two hours during an official meeting. As this was producer Yan Hyun Sok and the 21 members' first conversation in eight years, although no concrete plans have been made, Yang, who has particular affection for 21, listened to the members' requests and empathized with them, so we are looking forward to being able to convey good news to the fans soon. Huh. Well, so we could, <laughs> maybe for their 20th anniversary, <laughs> we could expect something, right? I'm not going to hold my breath, but you never know. Leave in the comments below when you think we could expect a comeback, if at all. It's YG. Like, do we really expect this to, to them to be on it? A meeting now? A comeback five years from now? <gasps> My brain went somewhere. I don't think it's probable, but like a Blackpink 21 baby monster mega collab. YG seriously needs to do like a got the beat for their girl groups. They're willing, right? No, my new question. Who is your YG got the beat? Comment what YG members from 21 Blackpink and baby monster you would make a super group out of. I think that's so much more fun. <laughs> Let's move on to our discussion segment, which is inspired by this. Don't you ever get a reality check while fangirling on celebrities? I'll never earn the money they earn in a lifetime. They live, a complete, they live in a completely different world from me. They will never talk to me in person unless I go to their fan meetings or their offline events. They're always going to be rich and they'll be able to marry a young pretty goddess. I think about this all the time, but not with like fangirling celebrities. It's just like anyone who has money. I think about that all, that that's all I think about all the time and it's bad it's bad to constantly think about that it's good to, like i would say like it's good to be aware but it's probably not live in ignorance don't be aware of these things just don't it's not worth it because there's literally nothing you can do about it. i mean there are work hard you know pull yourself up by your bootstraps i don't you know but realistically we all know the truth i literally do think of this all the time though like my idol if they wanted to could afford like a fancy apartment with their own personal pool like that exists right like a pool in an apartment but it's your own personal pool oh if that, that's a dream and i can't even get an above ground pool what the hell but let's read some comments I feel more grateful that thanks to them, they make my harsh and boring life more exciting. That's a really nice way to see things. Never. You never think about that? I usually get healing by looking at celebrities whenever I have a hard time. I feel like without... I feel like with a mindset like yours, it's better just to not fangirl at all. You feel like some kind of... You feel like some kind of inferiority complex towards celebrities. Why would you compare yourself with them? Is that inferiority complex? <gasps> If you feel like such a reality slab, why do you even like them? I feel like we're misunderstanding OP again. Maybe not. I mean, geez, is it a crime to, to think about these things? <laughs> no, but I don't like celebrities to date them. Please live more positively. That's some good, good ass advice. Have you never fangirled? Do you like them to date them? So you really buy into the pseudo relationship. So... Not this being a hot take again. I just, I, I don't know. Do you guys never think about like rich people? How they literally like OP said, maybe not about like dating them or whatever, but just like they live in a completely different world from me. I remember once someone said like, something about Kim Kardashian, how she's so rich that she probably like has forgotten what poor people are like. Like you're so rich that you don't even, you're not even around poor people anymore. Like you don't have to be. And then you end up just being so out of touch because you're just always around rich people. You're never around anyone like lower than you, God forbid. I think about that all the time and I don't think that's a crime. I personally don't think that's a crime. Like it's inevitable that you are going to have a different perspective from someone who's super, super rich someone who doesn't have to think about money doesn't have to stress about money it's just like 
cold hard facts. Do you know what I mean? Do you know where we're going with this? That's our discussion of the day. Let me know your thoughts. Like, just think about it. Like, you know, someone who's super, super rich is just going to go buy like a $50,000 watch. Meanwhile, like you might have to save up for years. You maybe never will have $50,000 in your life. Like the luxury living like that is going to change. It's going to change your perspective. It's going to change you. But let's move on. Let's move on to K-pop shenanigans, which are basically fun little things that have happened in K-pop recently. Cat's Eye finally debuted. I'm excited to take a look at that. In Baby Monster's teaser for forever, we see these bags that say Baby Monster on them. And people have brought up the fact that pre-debut, there were pictures of Blackpink that featured the same bags that said Baby Monster. So here we see those bags with Baby Monster written on them. And then here are the pictures of Blackpink pre-debut. One of the names the group could have had was Baby Monster until they chose Blackpink. Those bags are YG history. A lot of people just finding this connection super interesting that we get to see those bags again. On that note, for Baby Monsters Forever teaser, a lot of people are saying that the instrumental is similar to Blackpink's How You Like That Dance Break. <laughs> What do you think? Do you think it's just typical YG style? Les Seraphim are set to have a comeback in March. March, August, late August. We don't have any teasers or anything, but this has seemingly been announced. The Seraphim will reportedly make their comeback in late August. I don't have a K-pop song of the day today, though I have been listening to a ton of Chapel Roan. But maybe in the next video, it'll be Rockstar by Lisa. As for my K-pop dream, let's see. I'm pretty sure I had one. Oh my god. Hong Jung of 80s was trying to feed me to the fish after reading his fancy book on a boat. I remember it was like kind of playful, but I was like scared. It was like, ooh, they were piranhas. I had to walk through an influencer house with Ning Ning after walking through Ottawa, New York City to get there. Interesting. <laughs> what do you think this means? We'll just have to see. So that is basically it for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video with the friends you don't have. And again, a huge thank you to Rosetta Stone for sponsoring this video. I will see you guys next time. Bye!